Give me Isaiah 42 and 22. Because this right here, what we see, we think this is our community. That this is the best it's supposed to get. Why? We got rats all over here. We got roaches all over here. Spray paint, broken glass, and we call it home. In fact, we blended in so much with the filth, we can't even see his filth no more. Listen to this, sister. You too, brother. I want you to listen to this. Bring it out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. Read. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Robbed and spoiled. Everything been taken from us. Our God been taken from us. We lost our land. We lost our heritage, brother. Everything been taken from us. Read. They are all of them snared in holes. Snared in what? Snared in holes. You know what snared hole is? This community is. That's right. You're snared in a hole. Why? You can get in, but you can't get out. Everywhere you go, you say, you know what? Oh, I see the ghetto in you. I see the I see I see the blackness in you. I see the hood in you. Everywhere we go, we gotta be labeled negative. This is a snare. And guess what else is gonna be a snare? Read! And they are hid in prison houses. They hid where? And they are hid in prison houses. They hid in prison houses, my brother. That's another snare. So everywhere we go, guess what? We're in the trap. This neighborhood, we're in the trap. Then we try to get out, guess what? We go to prison, we in another trap. What? So what are we supposed to do? Only thing we can do is come back to our God. Like the man just told you, we've been afflicted. We've been afflicted for all our wrongdoing. And we're supposed to feel this, why? Because we want to do everything that the heathen do. It's time for y'all to wake up over there. That's right. That's what we're here for. That's right. We think we're here just to be talking. We're here to wake you up. That's right. So we can get out of here. This ain't home. Look at this. This ain't home. Read. They are for a prey and none deliver it. For a prey. Guess who? Guess who's a predator to come and get you, brother? Guess who coming to get you? The devil himself coming to get you. That's right. Guess who coming to get you? Your own brother that hates you coming to get you. Guess who else coming to get you? All these other nations coming against us because they hate us. We got to love each other. We all we got. We got to believe in the most high, clean ourselves up, and get ready for repentance. We got to get back on the road. We can't be hanging on the corners no more. Any more left on that? For a spoil. For what? For a spoil. Read. And none says restore. And none says restore. What do we got to be restored of? I'm going to tell you about restoration. Give me Psalms 23 and 3. We're going to tell you about being restored. Because one of the things got to be restored is the way that we walk. The way that we look. Our health has to be restored. And I'm going to get it for you, my sister. You know what the word restore means? Re restore means something that you once had, right? Right. But you lost it. Now the Most High got to put us back into us. Listen to this. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 23, verse 3. Read. He restores my soul. He restores what? He restores my soul. Our soul got to be restored. But once your soul get restored, this is what you got to do. Listen. He leads me in the paths of righteousness. In the path of what? In the paths of righteousness. We got to go in the path of righteousness. Why? Because all our lives will be going the wrong way. Hold that right there and give me Isaiah 59 and 8. I'll show you the path that we've been going. We've been going our own ways. We've been following this white Jesus. We've been following Islam. We've been following all these crooked ways. Listen to this. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 8. Read. The way of peace they know not. The way of peace we know not. That's why we saw we was about to see fighting out here, killing out here. We don't know no peace. What else we don't know? And there's no judgment. There's no judgment in our land. Why? We think when we go to court, he going to deal with us fairly. He ain't going to deal with us fairly. You already lost already. Right. You already lost already. Read. And their goings, they have made them crooked paths. They made what? Crooked paths. They made what? Crooked paths. Crooked paths, my brother. Guess what those crooked paths are? Christianity is a crooked path. Right. Guess what those crooked paths are? Islam is a crooked path. Hey. Guess what those crooked paths are? Huh? Homosexuality is a crooked path. Right. Drugs is a crooked path. Right. Hey. Read that again. They have made them crooked paths. We made us crooked paths. So now we got to get back to a right path. Right. And how we get back to that? Go back to Psalm 23 and 3. We got to get back on the right track. Because all our lives will be going the wrong way. Hey. And we think in our minds we're doing the right. But we ain't saying the whole time. We're going to get with sin hey. for you as well too. Read. Psalm chapter 23 and verse 3. Read. He restores my soul. He does what? Restores my soul. Read. He needed me in the path of righteousness. He leads us in a path of righteousness. So that's what we got to do. We got to restore our soul. We got to repent and come back to the most high God. 
Read the rest of that. For his name's sake. Huh? For his name's sake. For his name's sake. We're talking about our father, the king, Christ. We got to come back to him. And that's the only way. The only way you can deal and defeat the devil is through God's word. That's right. You can't do it. Give me some, Give me Proverbs 20 and 24. We think we were doing this right. You think when you go to the store on the Sabbath, you're doing right. You think we're eating that pork, you're doing right. All along, we walking down the crooked path. That's and right. you know what's at the end of that path? We're going to get it for you. At the end of that path is death. That's right. Right. We're going to die out in these streets. Read Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Read. Man's goings are the with us. Man's goings are the Lord. Man's goings are what? Man's goings are the Lord. Read. How can a man then understand his own way? How can a man understand his own way? We think we're doing the right way. We think we're doing the right thing when we not. We gotta have guidance. David asked for God to keep his eye on him so he could be guided correctly. So he could go down what? The righteous path. Right. You understand that? Not go down the crooked path. Right. Because you're now walking down the street. What's gonna happen when we see a split in the road? Like, well, I, I thought I was I, thought I love God. What am I supposed to do? Do I go this way or do I go that way? We don't know. Teach. But we gotta go to the path of righteousness and keep these commandments. You understand that? Get uh get uh Romans 6 and 23. We keep walking down that street. We keep on walking. And it's a dangerous street. We talking about it's a, it's a wide street wide. A bunch of people doing the wrong thing. Only a few people walking down the straight path. We're going to get that for you as well too, my sister. Listen. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. Read. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. Do you understand that? We're going to die on these streets. You know why we're going to die? Because I hate me. Since I hate me, I hate everybody that looks like me. Right? So I'm going to kill, I'm going to destroy everybody that looks like me. Why? Because my daddy was home. You know where your father is at? Your father's in his Bible. That's right. If you, you've been fatherless, you've been motherless, guess what? It's in this Bible. In fact, give me Malachi 4 and 6. We're going to tell you Abraham, my forefathers, is in this Bible. So if your father wasn't here on this earth, it's okay. You got a father in here. You got spiritual leaders that's going to follow. You can follow behind. You understand that? You understand that, my brother? All right, listen to this. Read. The book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 6. Read. And he shall turn the heart huh? of the fathers to the children. He shall turn the heart to the father to the children. Read. And the heart of the children to their fathers. To their what? To their fathers. So guess who's your father? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. So you ain't got no father in the household? Your father's in this Bible. Your father's in this Bible, right? We are each other. We hold each other accountable. Why? Because we got to stay on that correct path. We can't go off to a crooked path. Once we start to go away, guess what your brother going to pull you? Your sister going to pull you say, sister, come on back. You're going the wrong way. Come on back this way. That's what we're telling you. That's what we're telling you. That's what we're telling you. You're going the wrong way. In your mind, you think you're doing right, but we're not. Give me, uh, give me Proverbs 22 and 3. All right. Because we don't see the evil. We don't see the evil. Wait, look. When, they, when Dollar Roof came into that church, they didn't see the devil. Right. They tried to say, oh, come on. Come on in. God loves everybody. Well, he had what? He had killing on his mind. Right. Listen to this, my brothers, for all three of y'all. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 3. Read. A prudent man foresee of the evil. A prudent man does what? A prudent man foresee of the evil. A wise man foresee of the evil. I'm not going to deal with nobody that don't want to deal with me. Right. I'm not going to be in nobody's house that going to say, you know what? You still ain't nothing but a nigga. You still ain't nothing but a slave. That's all we ever going to be in this land. Ain't nothing ever going to change. To my mother's day fault, ain't nothing going to change for us. Only change we're going to have is these scriptures right here. We hide ourselves from the evil in these scriptures. Read it. And hide of himself. And hide of himself. But the simple pass on. By the what? And are punished. But the simple read pass again, on. Read again. Start from top. Read again. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. Right. And hide of himself. But the simple pass on. That's right. So we hide ourselves in these scriptures, my sister. My brother, we hide ourselves in these scriptures. Why? There's too much evil out here. Right. There's too much evil in the world. So it says a prudent man hide himself from evil. You have to know where to go. We can't go nowhere out here. Why? Everybody is against us. Right. Your own brother, your own sister will smile and steal from you. I said, oh, man, I heard somebody broke in your house last night. Knowing that he did it. What do you say? What did the brother say? What you got, my brother? What happened to 
Prosper. No weapon for the gifts just prosper. You know what that is, my brother? Don't that know means my brother, my sister, my, wife, my mama, or my dad. You know what that means, my brother? That means when you keep the commandments, ain't nothing gonna come against you. I know when you what keep that the commandments, means. give me Psalms 91 and 4. Give me also, Psalms 91 and 4. Now hold on, right. hold on one second before you do that. Alright, I got some questions. What I'm gonna ask you also is what happens to free will? All right, we're gonna get with the will. Hey, come over here, come over here, come over here. I'm gonna I'm I'm show you free will, that's a good question. My brother, that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. Hold on, bro, hold on. I, let me deal with it. What's your name, sir? Come deal with me. That's a good question, I like that question. I can appreciate that question. My, your name, huh? Ma? Ma? My name, Yosef. Nice to meet you, Ma. My name, Yosef. That's a good question, right? Your question was, I just, for everybody to understand, my brother Ma's question was, what about free will? Right? No, no. My actual question is, who is it that can tell me what my will says? Understood, be? understood. Give me that in Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter. There I'm going to show you what free will or your will entails. Because God gave us a choice. True, he gave us a choice. But he didn't give us a choice between 14 different options. It's two choices God gave you. Got what I want? Yes, sir. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 8. Come on. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord. Start at verse uh, 30. I mean, 18. This is the choice that God gave us. Read. Verse 18. I denounce unto you this day Come on. that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your stop, days. Stop, stop, stop verse, let me see, this. verse 15, that's what I want, all praise, read. Verse 15, read. see, I have set before thee this day. So God set before us this day, read. Life, life and good. L life and good. And death. And death and evil. Death and evil. So your choices, according to God, are life and good, death and evil. Those are your choices, read. And then I command thee this day. And then I command you this day. To love the Lord thy God. The life is to love the Lord thy God. To walk in his ways. To walk in his ways. His ways. Not your ways. His ways. Come on. And to keep his commandments. And to what? To keep his commandments. Those are the Lord's ways. To keep his commandments. Lord. If you read in the Bible and it says, Thou shalt or thou shalt not. Those are the Lord's ways, his commandments, read. Right? And his statutes, uh -huh. and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply. That you may live and multiply, come on. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. Come on. But if thy heart turn away. But, so if, but if you don't do his commandments and you turn away from the Lord, if you make that choice, which is death, come on. So that thou will not hear, but shall be drawn away. And worship other gods. And do and serve other gods that tell you not to do what God says. Come on. And serve them. And serve them. I denounce you this day that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land. You're going to die. Right. Right? And that's not just talking about in this life because the scriptures say death is a, a, allotted to us all in the flesh. We're all going to die one day. That death is talking about eternal death. Right. Damnation, lake of fire, you're not living forever, you're suffering forever. That's the type of death that nobody wants to die. Come on. Whether thou passes over Jordan to go to possess it, I call heaven and earth to record this, excuse me, to record this day. Please, I call heaven and earth to record this day, come on. To record this day against you. Against you, read. That I have set before you. That I have set before you. These are the choices. Life and death. Life and death. Therefore, blessing and cursing. Blessing and cursing. It's the same thing. Life is the blessing. Death is the cursing. Look around you. This is a cursing. This is curse. We was just sitting up here earlier today, and our brother's about to put each other to death. I was talking to my brother over there, and I'm asking him, because he's telling me what's going on. I'm like, I get all that, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with emotions. We all got feelings. We all got emotions. And when things happen, it's going to warn an emotional response. But my question was, why when we get in our feelings, do one of our own people got to get put to death? Teach. Back when we was kids, we'd fight, we'd get in arguments, we'd be mad, we'd fight. I'm and then, and then, gee, I bang it out. And then 10, I, minutes, and then 10 minutes later, we you. back to playing. Today, if yeah. I get mad, somebody got to get put to death. Look at this. Police in our neighborhood. That's For why. what? Hold on. For what? Hold on, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to get to the question. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore, I'm therefore, therefore, choose life. Therefore, choose what? Choose life. The Bible says choose life. Therefore. That's all we saying. That's all we saying to our people around here. Choose life. Stop choosing death. That's the that's the choices you have. Choose life, choose death. That's the course. That's the course. Binary, binary choices don't make it free will. That is free will. Well, when you you got the free will to choose life or death. Who tells me? 
God just read it again for the brother. No, no. See, this is the. I'm, I'm get it out, get it out. I want to hear it. Get it out. No, no, no. Get it out. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I'm a God too. Give me that song and, later. And how, who, how can you say this God is over me? Right. I'm gonna show you. You are a God, but you are subject uh, to. I the, am God. No, you're not. not you're not a God. God. You no, you are a God, you but you gotta move like a God. You gotta I move do, like a God. Listen, I Read. do what I want to do. I've okay. Life but it's con I've there's a consequences God. for doing what you want to do. Right. God, your your create. Did you did you create yourself? Yes or no? Yes. No, you did yeah, not. Did. No, you did not. You did not. How did, it, how did you create yourself? Tell me the process I, that made you create yourself. Go on. No one created me. Who, so how did you come I into existence? I came from the dust of the stars. You came from the dust of the stars? Yes. Wow. Okay. How? Every, how? Like how, it, God? It how, how did the stars create you, God? Go on. Explain. It explains how? all the compositions how? that's in my how? body. Is I'm from five years old. Make me understand how you came into existence since you got. Come on. Oh no! If you're five years old, I can say magic made me fucking be here. Yeah, but like that's, other but that, that's, that's, that's sounds stupid though. But I want to know the be, truth. But no, I want the truth. But Tell me, God, how you came into existence. I'm Come on. I'm, I'm a, I'm a right. That means that means that means you don't know. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, you know. and verse 6, I say, ye are God. The Bible said we are God. Right. And none of you are the children of the Most High. And the Bible says we children of the Most High God. So you sons of God, therefore you gods. Come on. Right. But, but, ye shall die like men. But because we think we can do whatever we want to do, because we are our own person, we die like simple men out here. Right. That's why we die. We do whatever we want. We go up here and we sleep around with women and we don't marry them. We create babies and houses and we don't raise them. We get drunk and then we got 911 white people in the police uniform coming in our neighborhood. Hey, my brother, if you your own God, then, hey, listen to me, listen to me. Hey, my brother, my brother with the jersey on, my brother with the jersey on, we dealing, stay in order. Listen to me, brother. That's okay. That's okay. Deal with me. If you are God and you control your own destiny, stop police from coming in this neighborhood. Go. What? Why do I give a fuck about Because your people live here. That's what was my point. We out here. That's, hey, a simple person sitting up here talking about God. Tell my why he give a damn. Every single man around here look just like you. Wait. This is not What's not reaching them? Hey, hey, my man, hey, my man, listen, hey, he said we're not reaching nobody. Let me ask you a question, sir, because maybe we're not reaching nobody. Should our people be killing each other? Is that bad? No, that's genocide. That's genocide. Should genocide. it stop? That's genocide. Do you, do you believe it should stop, though? You said, do I believe it should stop? Do you believe it should stop? It should stop? What is that? You said, do I believe it should stop? It should stop, yes. yes right, right, okay. Now. It's too much now, black now. black crime. Very you know good, very good. We're very getting good. ourselves right. out the way for Very the, good. For I want to ask, white man. I wanna ask another you know man, too. My brother over here. What's his yeah, name, sir? Yeah, it's genocide. It's genocide. That's all. God? No, no, Sean. Sean, Sean. Okay, yeah, I can't Sean, hear you, man. Sean. So, Sean, Sean, and what's your name? Uh, Red. Red. Sean and Red, right? Uh -huh. So, you said it should stop. Now, he said we're not out here trying to make a difference. Oh, yeah. Our people, I, who taught us to hate? ourselves to the point where we kill each other. Right. Was that something we were doing at first? No, that, that was taught by white people. It, right. was, it was in the book. Right, so the first we thing to help... Have, if uh, no, 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 I, I want to hear Excuse me for cutting you off. Now you good, you good. Coming up in school when we was doing history and all that, they didn't have our black history and books. Very good. They had all the white folks history and books and how, Very they, good. how they triumphed and overcame by taking what we already had. All praises. Now, I'm going to let y'all know this. I just seen something on social media where they took a man's family land by, uh, what, what, they, what they call it, the law? Uh, 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 Squatting? Uh, no, nah, um, it's, it's, a, it's a law that they use to, 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 to take your land. I forgot the proper term for it. Uh, I got you, I got you. Uh, uh, some by the man, some um, eminent domain, eminent domain. Eminent domain. Okay, so all, all that is now, is now listen, that's a simple word. Now, now listen, uh, all right, they took it from somebody who grandfather, grandfather, grandfather worked the land as slavery. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So he bought the land from, by being a slave. He bought the land. Right. So five generations later, they down in Florida, nah, uh, uh. 
the government seen it and tried to rectify the wrong doing that was done and try to compensate him with 1.5 million dollars and give them their land back but it was too late y'all to build golf courses right, right. resorts and all that's, that that's a heavy you know point I want to show you that in the Bible because what the first thing that has to happen with our people is our mind got to be fixed our enemies did a number on our mind that's why I like I was talking to my brother earlier I, I, Willie Lynch said all that stuff I'm gonna show you that in the Bible you said they took that man lying for no reason watch what the Bible says the Bible say that thing happened come on the book of Michael chapter 2 and verse 2 give me a new reader and they covered fields start of verse 1 verse 1 Woe to them that devise iniquity. The Bible says destruction. Woe to them that devise iniquity, meaning evil. Come on. And work evil upon their bed. And they meditate. When they in their sleep, they thinking about how they going to screw over people. Yeah. Us living in the projects with somebody's dreams, somebody's thoughts. Yeah. They were sitting up there in their house. How can I destroy these niggas more? Put them in a project where they're living on top of each other, take food and education from them, give them guns and drugs so that they kill each other. That was somebody's plan for us. Right, read. And work evil upon their beds. Come on. When the morning is light. When it when it becomes day, when it's in their hand, come on. They practice it. They practice their evil in what? Because it excuse me, because it is in the power of their hand. It's in the power of their hand to do so. They control the world. Come on. And they covered fields. They covered fields, meaning land, and do what? And take them by violence. And what? And take them by violence. They take somebody's land by violence, yeah. by force. Yeah. You just said that's what they do. The Bible just said that happened to us. Yeah. What we're trying to show our people is this Bible talking about us. Right. Everything that happened to you in the project is in the Bible. Give me uh, uh, Ephesians 4 and 23. The, well, how we got to fix it? First, we got to fix our mind. That nonsense that that brother was talking about is dumb stuff. He's talking about, I'm a God, I created myself. Nigga, you was born because your daddy busted nut in your mama and now you here. You didn't create you. Your daddy created you. You were swimming in your daddy's nuts before you were standing up here. What? That's nonsense. Come on. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4 and verse 23. Come on. And be renewed. In the spirit of your mind. The Bible say be renewed in the spirit of your mind, meaning your mind has to be fixed. Everything that, like you said, they taught us all this white history and all these great things and accomplishments that these white people did. But what they didn't tell you was they did it in the competition on your backs and mine. Right. They destroyed us. So now when we see white people, we see God. And when we see black people, we see niggas. That's why we that's why we about to run each other over and kill each other. Because that's a nigga, but that white man is God over here. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Unity.